Hi, I'm Anthony from bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com and this video will explore what to do exactly if you're stuck playing at fast speeds with the guitar pick. And if you're stuck at any moment in your guitar playing development with playing fast, we'll explore here what to do. So playing fast here with the picking hand requires multiple things to work in your advantage and if they don't line up then you will have difficulty doing this and you feel too much stress coming from the string and you will get stuck in between like the strings like I was in the beginning and a lot of people are in that stage in their guitar playing they can play at slow speed but they can't really pick fast on guitar so the first thing to look at is how you hold the pick then also the thickness of the pick where you pick on the string and lastly the angle in which you uh, hold the pick so let's talk about the very first thing how you hold the pick so you should only hold the pick between the thumb and the index finger and this doesn't only apply to playing fast this also applies to playing slowly you play with more accuracy if you hold it just with two fingers a lot of beginners like I did in the beginning hold it with three fingers it's a mistake to do so because there's not much accuracy with this it even builds up tension in the wrist so hold it like you would do with a pencil between two fingers but there is a little cheat in which you can use the added benefit of multiple fingers which we'll get into um, later on in the video here but just start out with two fingers and then we also need to look at the, how much force you use on the pick so um, if there's a lot of stress coming from the strings a lot of strength because there there is a lot of tension on the strings and if you apply yourself and your pick to the string it, it will um, blow up in your face because the strength of the string will give you a lot of stress and then it builds up tension in the hand we don't want that so that's why you need to hold the pick really firmly so the pick doesn't get affected by the strength of the strings second thing to look at is the thickness of the pick if you only pick with like a really thin pick it will give you a false sense of security but I wouldn't encourage you to play like this with a thin pick especially if you want to get more into lead guitar playing and you want to build a curacy and your guitar technique so that's why a thicker pick is essential here while at first this might feel more difficult we will get on to how to make it easier in just a moment so you get the thick pick and then it's really important to determine where on the string you're picking and in the beginning it's a really good trick it's a bit of a, a hack uh, if you will to play really close to the bridge because there's so much tension here on the string that the string also doesn't do this movement like it does here if you're picking <laughs> And it's easier to build accuracy over your picking because the string doesn't move away uh, back and forth it doesn't rock back and forth here close to the bridge all right last but not least it's really important to look at the angle in which you pick if your pick for demonstration purpose is lined up in a perpendicular fashion um, in comparison with the string you will have a lot of tension on the pick but if you angle it slightly like 15 degrees even 20 degrees if you want to do that if you angle it slightly in this way you will have less tension on the pick you just make sure you don't angle it like this or this because then the down strokes and the up strokes will feel different so you want only to angle it towards the headstock in a 15 or even 20 degrees fashion don't angle it too much or your tone will get too affected and it will sound like crispy so these are the four things you need to take care of 
um, like we mentioned how you hold the pick and I will come back just uh, really quickly to a little cheat you can use to hold it with even better security but hold it between two fingers then make sure you use a tick pick you pick really closely to the bridge and then you um, angle the pick and you hold it with enough force so the pick doesn't get moving in your hand and for many people this means that you need to apply more force with the fingers to the pick so it can't move if the pick wants to dance around in your hand you just need to for this fast tremolo picking that we're doing here we need to apply more pressure and what I'm doing now is like a little cheat uh, you can use instead of holding it only with those two fingers I'm making sure this middle finger can also um, um, apply pressure on the pick not by holding it with those three fingers as explained this is not what you want to do but just by supporting the index finger here so the middle finger gets to support here the index finger and this way you can apply even more force and get the pick to stay more in the same place and a lot of guitarists pick with a closed hand a lot of guitarists pick with the fingers out of the hand this is a whole other topic here for fast picking you can do those two ways of picking with the fingers out of the hand or inside the hand but the added benefit of holding your fingers inside the hand is the applied pressure you can here uh, use for the with using the third finger just make sure that those fingers are relaxed though because you don't want to to hold your hand in a really tensionful way you want to only apply pressure with the thumb index and middle finger those fingers should feel relaxed while you hold here the pick and the way in which you will feel if they are relaxed or not is to just touch this part of your hand if you're picking it with too much tension and your pinky and ring finger are also uh, supporting the pressure applied to the pick which isn't what you want then this part of your hand will feel really um, tensionful so only if you go this road with supporting with the ring finger just make sure those fingers are relaxed here if you want to delve deeper into all of this there's a free guide on my website bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com with seven fast blues guitar licks explained note by note so if you're into blues guitar playing and you want to play fast blues guitar licks in the style of joe bonamassa gary moore and many others grab that free copy of that ebook there on bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com and also if you're into those topics uh, subscribe to the channel so you get all the newest youtube videos live on your youtube home feed